Oh, the line. That was. Hey. Bye. Bye. The to given up, leave my now on. To destiny. Right now, I'm a face. No, I remember it carefully. I know this bird is going to be very anything. important for the story, Jane, so just be quiet for a second. Don't let me miss anything. I'm done with Wait. Both listen to my directions. See, I just, just saw your monitor. It said you are fired, by the way. Wow, thank you so much. I can get a better job than that.
bring in. How about this? Yeah, that. Then I from having to make a decision. Wow, I even cuz Where's you? I don't know. And up in another restart really? the game. Third restart. No. Vented. Unable to go anywhere to do anything. The game restarts on its own. Six restarts. Find the line again. Begin following the line. Find an identical cover of the office that the race restarts again. Seventh restart. There is no longer an office. Simply blank space. Simply black space. Wandering the block. Game. We will come for it. Dick! Journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination, so I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime. <laughs> I just heard a car horn and then the game restarted. There you go, now it's responding. So, how's the game going, Jane? Oh, you're here for a reason now, because the line's gone! So now you uh -oh. can make all of my decisions. That's good then! All of his co Despite the gone. decisions that you've what already made. Stanley mm. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Righto, so, I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry, Jade. You get to keep your job for this time, Jane. Thank you. Right. You reach the two when doors Stanley again. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Two doors. All right, so the narrator wants to go to the left, 
and there's also a door on the right I can, I can go into. Follow what the narrator says this time. Right. So, he's been quite quiet right now as I'm heading off to the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here. Not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no ex no expectation of. Might find an answer there. To read that fully. So heading up to the boss's office. All right. So should I continue on, or should I go into the room closet of destiny? What? Okay. So should I head on to my boss's office where the narrator wants me to go, or should I go into the into what I call in my main channel? The Broom Closet of Destiny. Broom Closet of Destiny. Okay, into the Broom Closet of Destiny. Stanley stepped into the Broom Closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Close the door. Now I'm going to use this bucket thing as a loo. There was nothing no here. Nobody look. No Close your eyes right now. No Turn off your monitor. Follow. Don't Just look at me. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I'm not sure if this is actually an ending, by the way. I've tried getting this ending twice in my main series. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. Later. At least if there was something Can't to interact with, he'd place. be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I think I'll have to exit the broom closet if I want to continue on in this game at all. Are you Lame. really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Because Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Jane. What? We confused the, the narrator. Oh? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. That's why I'm in here. I thought to mention it. So, yeah, I think I have to exit. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> you get the broom closet and the broom closet and he was my was favorite. Stanley was ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, <laughs> Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, um, that's a nice narrator. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Jane, I'm dead. You, got to this broom closet, you are? Explored it a bit, and we're just about the narrator just came to the conclusion that I'm here. dead. When a physical well, that's good then, right? <laughs> down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the key. I mean, oh no, you're well, dead. <laughs> the Thanks for showing concern, Jane. Nearby, it's so such a tragedy. The of, <laughs> There's no more Jake. <laughs> Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person, the person at this computer, computer is dead. Is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological yes, vulnerabilities. Yeah. It's indicative of the long-term yeah. sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right, so I guess this is where I stop playing and the person from my main YouTube channel starts playing, which is essentially just me, except with a different accent. Oh. Actually, I think I'm actually stuck with this now. Wait, nope, here we are. Ah, All right, back on. Player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee coming Wait, to a staircase, happening? Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, now here's another decision for you to make, Jane. Okay. Can walk upstairs to my boss's office, or we can walk downstairs to who knows where. Downstairs. Thank you, Jane. You're getting me killed again. I am. Yes. Yes. But Stanley it's a car just here. Do it. 
he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? It's a good question, narrator. Why can't I see my feet when I look down? Wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yes, they are, narrator. No, you just noticed that. To himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Apparently, this is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally what? found an answer. Apparently, an this is a dream. His co workers well, were actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. <laughs> he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Jane! Jane! He I'm flying! Himself yep. Flying Jane! You're space on flying? A star yeah, I was flying there for a second. And now I'm in space! So and Jane, I'm in space. What have you done to me? Am I just... Up. Am I on drugs right now? So lucid? Yes. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice, voice in my, in my head, head dictating, dictating everything, everything that I'm doing and thinking? thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing, describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. According to the narrator, this be? is not a dream, Jane. Was Stan simply deceiving himself? Believing Wait, what is it then? He doesn't have to take I don't know yet. I honestly don't know yet. Stanley is, is it a dream? Is it not a dream? Why can't you just decide? Life. It's a paradox. Now, hearing the voice speak these words, that makes sense then. Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. <sighs> Let me wake, wake up, up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. That's I want a really my weird request, Stanley. And my wife. And my job. What? All I want is he my life wants exactly to go back to his been. boring job. My life. Why would more. anyone want to go back to their boring I job? Well, he likes pushing life. buttons all day. I am. I bet you do too. <laughs> what? I bet you'd enjoy that job. Wait, wait. where am I? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, Stanley's now going crazy. He's yelling. The entire thing's going be red. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Someone's going to die. And everything went black. Now everything's black. I was sure everything went red. That probably means that someone died. The story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. other. She arose, got, got dressed, dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, 
For just, just a few brief moments, she considered, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This, this much she knew. knew. Everyone Who knows, knows what that these people look like. And in that moment, she, she thought, thought to herself how, how lucky she was to be normal. normal. I am sane. I, I am in control, control of my mind. I know, I know what, what is real and what isn't. isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Apparently seeing a corpse made Mariella feel better, Jane. Very important I think it depends on whose corpse it was, but I would probably enjoy that too. It looks like Stanley's corpse. She had no time for this. So if it was corpse blood? That she stood there, I can see the corpse. The looks like Stanley's corpse. And then she Is it though? Are you dead? Yes, I'm dead. Well then it makes sense. <laughs> and that makes Jane happy. Yes, very happy. I will join her in her happiness. Sometimes I question you, Jane. Why would you question me? Sometimes I question you, your existence. You always question me no matter what I say. Here I am. Uh, this isn't right. It's... No, this is not what I'm supposed to be. This is my office right here. But this isn't... I haven't reached this ending before. I don't know what this ending is. I haven't actually... All of his co-workers were gone. Whoa, I have discovered like? something new. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But I can't go to the meeting room. Stanley went around hmm. touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Here, your door opened. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. So just to, to just to describe things to you, um, I'm in a completely concrete room with a brick wall and a concrete floor. And the only thing in this room besides a single, besides two LED rods, is a whiteboard written in red marker. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Console seven bark. Hmm. So I think I need to restart the game here. Considering that there's the only one place I can go into. Now, one place I can go into is the area where there's a whiteboard for the whiteboard ending. Okay. So, I'm just going to begin the game again. I think this is where we... Well, do you think we can reach one more ending, or do you think we should stop the episode here? Probably stop it here. This has been going on for a while. Alright. Well, what is everybody? I've been Jake, and this has been Jane. We've been playing The Stanley Parable, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>